Hey, by the way, what did you think about all that? Uh, they've been asking the whole time they were going through. People were asking me about the whole Conan Tonight Show, uh, Leno Tonight Show, that whole thing. Like, what you thought about all of that? What 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 are your feelings? This is here. I come with my typical glowing positivity. Okay. Uh, I think it is. It is a high watermark of the end of entertainment as we know it. When that, when a move like that gets pulled, they are setting. They have they have stepped so far over the line that they have ever stepped over before. Right. The audacity of it. They've set a new standard for how much they are willing to fuck you. And all I could think the whole time was, if they'll fuck Conan, what goddamn chance do I have? I know. That what chance the, do I have? That was the classic. Well, welcome to L.A., pal. That's how it fucking goes. I just, Unreal. I just think that, uh, you know, I don't know. Conan is like, you know, I came up on Letterman and, and Conan. So when, you know, it was Letterman, I, you know, I'd watch Letterman and then I'd watch Conan. And then when Conan came up, like, uh, I just feel he got fucked because they never gave him The Tonight Show in that, you know, when Jay got The Tonight Show, he didn't have to follow Johnny Carson bombing for an hour doing a watered-down version of the Tonight Show. Like, I get why Jay doesn't want to leave. I get that part. But I just feel like Conan got fucked on that whole ratings thing where, you know, Jay was going, yeah, he wasn't getting the ratings. Yeah, he wasn't getting the ratings. We were doing that whole passive aggressive. Yeah, I was just doing what management said. You know, right. I just, I just, just doing He's such a fucking company, man. Well, the thing about him is if he, would just, if he would just come out and just be like, look, I had a number one show. I wasn't looking to retire. And they, when they asked me to retire... If he just owned up to what he did, and he just, if he just said, look, yeah, I, I didn't want to retire, and I just fucked, and they didn't think I was going to be number one in five years, and I'm like, well, I'll fucking show them. And then when the time is perfectly right, I'm going to say, guess what? I'm not retiring, because that's a great fucking business move. That's what he did. If he just owned up to that and said, like, yeah, and I wanted to get my fucking show back, if he just owned up to it, rather than acting so powerless, like, you know, management came and talked to me and he said, you know, we want you to leave in five years. And I said, okay, if that's what you want me to do, and just keeps doing that shit. That's, what, that's where that dude becomes annoying because anybody with half a brain could be like, can realize that it didn't go down like that. I just think that, look, I just think Conan got fucked because, you know, Leno got 18 months. He struggled for 18 months before he got going and he got to go on after a hit show. He got to go on after ER. I mean, it'd be like, Joe, how do you think you would do if, if a comic went on before you and, and walked half the room? And yeah, then and you go on stage, and it's like you've got to spend half your show just trying to turn it into a show again. And I think NBC's making a huge mistake because they're creating a generation gap because it's going to go from a 60-year-old guy down to a 35-year-old guy, and it's like there's nobody from my generation. Well, it's you know? just – it's. I'm going to start watching Kimmel. Kimmel's, I, actually, I like I actually, Kimmel. Would, I never watched him just because I always watched Letterman, and then I watched, would watch <clears throat> Conan, but then, you know, him coming out dressed as Jay and shit, it was yeah. funny, and I'm like, I like this guy. Kimmel's good, I like Ferguson a lot, and I think Letterman's still funny. Yeah, I love Letterman, I like, uh, I never watched, uh, I gotta miss, I never watched Colin Ferguson because I'm kind of a racist. Craig Ferguson. Craig Ferguson, sorry, I never watched Racist, Craig, what do you yeah, mean? Yeah, I just hear that accent, and I'm like, yeah, why don't, why don't you go back to fucking Brussels? Brussels. You know, he's from, like, Scotland? Yeah, I think Scotland. I think it's Scotland. Folks! Right? I mean, Folks! Yeah. Well, ah, I, I, <laughs> I can't. I was going to try to add. I can't. I got nothing. The, no, yeah. you should. Look, uh, but I got to tell you, the way Conan went out, his last show was great. It was totally yeah. positive. He gave this, this inspirational speech that wasn't corny. And then in the end, he had Will Ferrell come out dressed as uh, Ronnie Van Zant. I think that's the right name. The lead singer of Leonard Skinner. And they did Freebird. And he came out and played, and Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top, Jeff Beck, and uh, that fucking uh, black dude that everybody likes. Uh, Stevie Wonder? No. Uh, James Brown. No, no. He, he hangs out with that other white dude who fucking plays an acoustic guitar. Sherrod Small. But it's not. Uh, keep going. Uh, not as black as that. A little lighter. Uh, uh, come on, man. You know Keith Robinson. No, he plays an acoustic guitar. There's Baby not, face. There's not, a, there's not a, a lot of them. Baby face. God damn it. John Mayer. Who's who's the okay? Who's the guy who fucking? He's the white dude. He's not Dave Matthews. He plays plays the John Mayer. No, Eric Clapton. Do you know John Mayer? I, I always buy Rolling Stone when I when I fly. You know, I just read it, whatever. Try to keep up on you know whatever the fuck they're saying is good music. And they had on the picture a shirtless John Mayer, and I want to say he had at least one of his arms behind his head, 
And I was just like, you know, I just, I can't fucking buy that. <laughs> and that's one of those guys where he's constantly going on TV trying to address why people are saying he's a douchebag. And then he just continues to do stuff where he's lobbing it over the net to be called a <laughs> douchebag. I, I mean, maybe he has no sense of how you come off. But, you know, not, I mean, I, I got a lot of balls talking about that level of fame, but I know goddamn well, Joe, that if I ever posed shirtless on a fucking magazine cover and I wasn't doing it as a joke, there's, I, can't, I know I can't answer my phone for at least fucking six months <laughs> because everything's going to be, you fucking, fucking fag, you fucking douchebag. It's going to be all of that. I'm not saying the dude is a bad guy, but his just complete confusion as to why people continue to come at him like that, it's like, okay, first of all, uh, every fucking hot chick from 14 to 44 wants to bang you. Right there, the jealousy of all guys involved. Right, right there, there's a, there's a certain amount of just out of jealousy are going to think that, that you're a douchebag. Right. Okay, but then if you add, you add that shit. Jesus Christ, dude. It's so funny. Why do you keep calling me a douchebag? Hold on, more fucking glitter around the eyes. I want yeah. more glitter around the eyes. <laughs> he's not that bad. But, I you know. know what's funny? Yeah. Is he actually, he's actually a fucking great guitarist. If he would just like, it's like, dude, did Stevie Ray Vaughan, he's got a Stevie Ray Vaughan tattoo on his shoulder. It's like, did Stevie Ray Vaughan ever fucking do that? The only thing he was missing, he should have just been in like a backyard with like one of those rope swings. Or I don't even know what the fuck it is. Swinging from a tire? Yeah, just... <laughs> No, but then that would have been funny. Like, I literally, as a, as, I mean, I don't know what this means. I'm like homophobic. I couldn't buy the fucking magazine. Just How because, could you? 